Welcome to the CQD online introduction, part of the Skype operations framework. My name is Pamela Arimoto, and I am the senior program manager for the Skype for Business product team. And as you can see, I'm very passionate about Skype for Business because I was part of the team that competed in the Tough Mudder this year. Our team is part of the overall Skype for Business product group and have the following goals. And really our passion is to enhance the customer and partner experience by capturing feedback from yourselves and your organization to influence product direction while enabling organizations of any size to get our cloud service by providing best in class readiness and deployment services. About SOF or Skype operations framework. This session is part of the wider Skype operations framework training, which we encourage you to review the recorded training that's available. So let's recap on why we created Skype, the Skype for Operations framework and what it is. The shift to the cloud changes the way that Skype for Business is delivered, moving from on-premise deployments to online deliveries. And we've been asked to provide practical, consumable guidance to assist you and your organization to plan, deliver, and operate Skype for Business online. We created the multifaceted approach of the Skype operational framework to provide that practical guidance, associated tools and assets, along with a common language of phases and stages to help drive a common understanding of the Skype business online life cycle. And to help folks get on board, we have the Skype Academy to host sessions like this and also technical product training, as well as feedback mechanisms. SOF is a living framework and we're working on, updated, on updates on a regular basis, so please visit our site for the latest material at skypeoperationsframework.com. CQD and SOF, as I have noted, are living frameworks and are very dynamic. As we're going to find out um, in this session that it is a living and breathing framework and we'll be adding new content and work, um, working on updated delivered assets and overall material to cover major updates. But we encourage you to always be working with the latest assets which have been released since the overview session was recorded. Welcome to the Investigate Media Quality Using CQD video series. We created this set of short, snackable, and easy to consume videos to help you start using and mastering Skype for Business Online Call Quality Diagnostics tool to help, invest, help your organization investigate media quality in your deployments and infrastructure with the aim of helping you drive up overall quality. Each video builds on the previous set, as you see from left to right. We recommend that you watch them in the order, but also feel free to dip in. So let's get started. We are here in the first of the series, starting with CQD online introduction. Key takeaways for this CQD online introduction, that there's three things that I specifically want you to take away from this session. First is Skype for Business in Office 625 has the tools you need for proactively managing systemic call quality and troubleshooting individual call quality in your infrastructure and deployments. Two, the call quality dashboard or what we call CQD is your primary tool for monitoring and proactively managing call quality in Office 365. And lastly, providing subnet to building mapping is critical for the call quality dashboard or CQD to be useful for looking at network issues and troubleshooting issues within your deployments and infrastructure. Let me give you an overview of the call quality dashboard. The CQD dashboard is made up, as you can see on the right, of detailed views as well as summary views for quality and reliability for proactive call quality management. This is based all on the call quality methodology, or what we call CQM. It provides views focused on finding systemic infrastructure issues by slicing aggregated data from data cubes by meaningful pivots of your organization, such as location, geography, scenario, and network types. In the rest of the presentation, we will also go over CQD data itself and give you an overview, what problems actually CQD can address, looking for patterns and trends, how to actually access the CQD tool itself, overview of the summary and detailed reports, and building and uploading and processing data. We'll also go over some CQ, uh, CQD data housekeeping. 
as well. Next, I wanted to give you an overview of types of data in our call quality tool. First is call detail records, or what we refer to as CDR. This is where servers generate records for all of the signaling involved in the session or in your meeting. The quality of experience, or QOE, that we refer to is where media processing endpoints generate an XML report with detailed metrics about media flow around network, device, and software. And it's always sent at the end of the call, but may be sent during the call depending on the configuration. Let's get into some real life scenarios and examples of why you would actually use CQD in your organization. One could be which of my branch offices are having actually having network issues and how do we compare them to the main office across all of my offices worldwide? Has performance on Wi-Fi gotten better after rolling out our new infrastructure? Or you can also ask how are users rating their call experiences? And even how many sessions are happening outside of my corporate network and is it trending up? You can use CQD to find unknown trends or gauge the impact of changes in your enterprise, both planned and unplanned. You can use it to measure patterns of usage and adoption of the service, as well as find problems before they become widespread in your organization. You might be asking, how do I actually activate and how do I actually use the CQD tool? So let me walk you through that, which is fairly easy. You want to navigate to https colon cqd.link.com. On the CQD online page, you simply have to log in with your Skype for Business or Global Administrator account. Then you will start the activation process automatically. Once activated, the CQD tool will begin collecting and processing data from your infrastructure and uh, enterprise organization and will take a short time to be ready. And when we say a short time, it's really just a couple of minutes. Your data will be available. Let me share with you a high-level view of the summary and detail reports available in the CQD tool. There is a summary dashboard that provides an at-a-glance view of monthly and daily trends for call quality. There are also detailed, customizable reports with in-place live report editing for you to utilize. It also integrates sub tenant subnet to building data to provide location-based insights, which serves very helpful in troubleshooting. There's also 225 plus dimensions and over 90 plus measures of call quality and reliability data for audio, video, and application sharing, and more to be covered on this in subsequent videos. This includes end user ratings of calls, but not the verbatim text, and the service is hosted in Azure region based on where your tenant is homed, either in the North America region, uh, EMEA region, or European region, or Asia Pacific region. This is a very, very important topic, subnet to building mapping data. The core concept in CQD is being able to segment data by calls happening inside your network versus those that are happening outside. Grouping calls by building and sites with common infrastructure often leads to actionable insights in terms of quality. This can also be used to identify calls over VPN. So without this data, calls are marked as external and you won't be able to tell if a call was from home versus office network. Building data must be complete, a complete data set when uploading to CQD, the start and end date when mapping is applied. When the client sends a report for a stream to the service, it includes a value marking if the call was placed over a VPN. Sometimes the client does not know that the call is over a VPN though, and does not mark the stream correctly. So a way to work around this issue is to create a building slash network called VPN and associate the subnet for the VPN with the building slash network. Let me share with you what an actual building data file looks like and some guidance as you upload the data. On the right here shows you the building data file structure by column, uh, data type if it's string or number, and the actual example of the actual types of fields that would be populating those columns. So some guidance on the left of uploading building data to CQD that should be to be mindful of. First is the building data must be a complete data set and include all subnets, not just new ones, when uploading to CQD. Second, each building data file is tied to a date range. 
there is no such thing as incremental changes because you can't have more than one file for a given date. So for example, if you upload a date, a file with a date range of January 1st to January 31st, it will only apply to January data. And lastly, most of the time customers leave off the end date for the file, which means it will apply to all future dates until a new file is uploaded that changes that. Let me share with you now how to actually upload building data. So in CQD Online, there is a CQD Summary Reports dashboard, which includes a tenant data upload page, as you see on the right. So first, you select the ten tenant data upload link tag on the top right corner, and this page is used for admins to upload their own information, such as mapping of IP addresses and geographical information. Second, on the tenant data upload page, you use a drop down menu to choose a data file for uploading. The file data type denotes the content of the file, i.e. building, which refers to mapping of IP address and building, as well as other geographical information. And third, after selecting the file data type, select browse to choose a data file. And the data file needs to be either a TSV, tab separated values file, or a CSV, comma separated value file, for it to be uploaded. Continuing, after selecting a data file, specify the start date and optionally specify an end date. If you keep the end date open, it'll be the latest file until you upload a new file. Select Upload to upload the file to the CQD server by hitting Upload. Before the file is uploaded, it is first being validated. And once it's validated, it is stored in our Azure production blob. If no errors occur during validation, the file uploads successfully. And you can see your uploaded data file in the My Uploads tab at the bottom of the screen, which shows you a full list of uploaded files for the current tenant at the bottom of the page by date. As we come to the close of our CQD online introduction, I wanted to share and reiterate the key takeaway points, share with you some CQD housekeeping tips, um, CQD useful links, and summary and how to actually contribute to our soft operational framework. And lastly, some resources for you. So key takeaway points. Skype for Business and Office 65 has the tools you need for proactively managing systemic call quality and for troubleshooting individual call quality as we have gone through the actual online introduction. The call quality dashboard enables you to monitor and investigate call quality for users. And the CQD data includes quality and reliability data for audio, video, as well as application sharing. And lastly, a very important component to CQD is the building to subnet mapping that we covered in the previous slide that is critical for making the call quality dashboard useful for you in regards to insights of your quality and troubleshooting issues. Let me share with you some CQD housekeeping tips in regards to data availability. You must be wondering how much data is actually housed in the CQD tool, but we make available up to six months of CQD data for trending purposes as well as history. You also may be wondering how often is the data refreshed. In terms of data freshness, the data is processed daily. So that data is on average 12 hours after the event and up to 24 hours if the call ended right after we processed. Here are some useful CQD links. The actual CQD tool that we've covered in this online video is available at https whackwhackcqd.link.com. We've also included an IT Pro tool link, which provides you um, tools that are developed and certified to help customers like yourself to successfully plan, deploy, and operate a Skype for Business communication environment across voice, video, and conferencing workloads. And these actual partners provide uh, and help extend the reach in terms of built-in management and monitoring capabilities of the Skype for Business service. So please feel free to go to this link to learn more and view more information. In summary, we have covered the following topics. What problem does CQD Online address for your business? Looking for patterns and trends in the metrics. How to access this actual CQD Online tool, uh, providing you an overview of the summary and detailed reports that are available to you, and how to actually upload building data um, and processing of that data. So what's next? In the next video, you will hear about the principles and core concepts of CQD online and should gain understanding of the fundamentals of CQD. Lastly, how to contribute to SWAF or our Skype operations framework, which we're passionate in hearing from you. 
As we said earlier, SOF is a living framework and we continue to work on updating assets and delivering new offers. And one key thing that drives our update is your feedback. Please visit the feedback site at skypeoperationsframework.com slash feedback and access our feedback channels where we can, we would love to hear from you to share your thoughts and ideas on what you would like to see in future releases. The feedback channels are voting enabled, so if you'd like an idea already shared, then please vote on it to show your support. Lastly, we are proud to launch the new SOF community as part of developing the multifaceted approach to SOF. The SOF team are looking forward to hearing from you on how you can apply the SOF guidance to your projects and sharing lessons learned, so please sign up and take part at aka.ms slash SOF community. In order to stay up to date, please leverage the following resources. The first link above points to our SOF website where you can download all of the SOF material. The second link points to our blog and we recommend to look at the blog on a regular basis or even better, configure your RSS reader in order to stay informed about what any new blog articles. Finally, the last link points to our training site where you can find the latest trainings on SOF as well as technical trainings. This is the end of our CQD online training and I wanted to thank you very much for joining.